it's Margo here. Time to put on your curiosity caps and get ready to dive into some science. <laughs> Today, I wanted to talk to you about something really important. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, we are going to talk about washing your hands. I mean, sure, I know that we have all been reminded a thousand times to wash our hands, right? But there is a good reason for that. Washing your hands is really important. I mean, have you ever realized how every store or restaurant bathroom has an employee's must wash hands sign? Or have you wondered why your parents or teachers are always asking if you remembered to wash your hands? And then sometimes even follow that question up by asking, did you remember to use soap? I mean, what's the big deal? Sure, we know dirty hands are gross, right? But the thing is, it's obvious to see that they are gross when you've been outside playing in the dirt or inside doing arts and crafts. But what about the times that our hands don't look dirty? Well, unfortunately, things like harmful germs and yucky bacteria aren't noticeable with the naked eye. But those little germs that we can't see can lead to some big complications. They can get you and other people sick. Ooh, yikes. But with that said, washing your hands can literally save your life and the lives of others. Wait, what? I know, I know, it sounds a little bit dramatic, but it is true. But there's also a catch. Washing your hands can save your life only if you are using soap while you wash. Okay, let me explain. Water plays an important role in the cleaning process, but it doesn't have total cleaning power on its own. I mean, think about anything that uses water to really clean something, from a dishwasher to a washing machine. They have something in common besides getting things clean, right? Sure, sure, they use water, but they also need some sort of soap or detergent to get the job done, right? I mean, when's the last time someone used a washing machine with just water? So why is that? Well, as it turns out, soap is the secret cleaning ingredient. On its own, soap is good at dissolving a lot of different things. In other words, it breaks things down into really small pieces that easily mix with the water, making it easy to remove that substance from the surface that you want to clean. Think about like removing the mud from your shoes or food from your dishes, spills from your clothes, and yes, even germs from your hands. But especially when it comes to that last one, you need a little help from soap to really get the job done. Why? Well, because while water pushes certain substances like mud off of your hands and dissolves some of the larger pieces of the substance into smaller bits to make it easier to fall off your hands into the sink to be carried down the drain by the water, that doesn't really work with everything. Sure, water washes away and dissolves much of the dirt and grime that find their way onto our hands without much help. Here, try this quick and easy experiment at home. Pour a teaspoon of cooking oil into a small glass of water and watch what happens. For those of you who aren't going to pause this video right here, right now, and try this out, here's what should happen. The oil will stay on top of the water, never mixing. That's right, even if you stir or shake the ingredients together, they will end up in totally separate layers. But why? Well, the particles that make up the water are very small and love to snuggle up close to one another. Oil particles, on the other hand, are much bigger and they like their space. The result? Each substance does its own thing and stays in its own space. Simply put, oil and water don't mix. <laughs> Now this is a little bit of a problem because our skin naturally produces oils to help moisturize and protect the outer layer of our skin, which is good. However, when these oils are left on our skin for too long, they can build up and can attract yucky things like germs, including harmful viruses and bacteria that can make people really, really sick. But 
Fear not, my friends, this is where soap comes to the rescue. And while soap can't totally dissolve oil or grease as water can with dirt, it does something else that is super helpful. Soap is attracted to things like oil and grease. And that, my friend, is how it helps keep you clean. Hmm, let's grab our curiosity shovels and dig a little deeper. <laughs> Soap is what is called a surficant, which means that it helps to make a surface, like your hands, slippery. This makes it easier for things like germs to wash away with water. But that's not all soap does. To understand how soap works to wash away germs and grime, we can look at the way soap molecules are structured. Sort of like a nail or a balloon, each soap particle has two ends. One end is hydrophilic, or attracted to water. The other end is hydrophobic, or repelled by water. Instead, they love other types of surfaces like dirt, grime, and you guessed it, germs. So while oil and water don't naturally mix, soap particles being attracted to both help bring them together. When you add soap to your hands and suds up, the soap molecules respond like this. All of the hydrophobic tails try to avoid the water molecules by coming together and pointing the hydrophilic ends toward the water. As the molecules do this, they come together to create little clusters of soap molecules called micelles. So what happens when you wash your dirty or germy hands is that some of those little clusters are formed around molecules of dirt, bacteria, and germs because the hydrophobic ends of the soap molecules are attracted to the oils that have mixed with that dirt and germs. Now, with those germs at the center and the hydrophilic heads of the soap molecules pointing outward, they are attracted to the running water that eventually eventually washes them away, off of your hands, and down the drain. The result? Clean, germ-free hands. <laughs> so soap works to clean things off of your hands that water simply cannot get rid of alone. Here's another little experiment that you can try at home. Place a small droplet of cooking oil on your hands and rub it around until your hands feel a little greasy and slippery. Fun, right? <laughs> now rinse them underwater. You might want a parent's help here so you don't get that faucet all oily with your slippery hands. You'll notice that nothing really happens and your hands still feel all slimy and gross. But once you add a little soap to the mix, you will notice that your hands will finally start getting less slippery because the oil will actually be able to start washing away with the soap and water combo. Crazy, right? This is exactly how it works with germs on your hands as well. Germs are like oil and will just move and spread around your hand and eventually onto other surfaces you touch until you wash them away with soap. So the next time you think about quickly washing your hands before you eat, when you sneeze, achoo, or after you use the bathroom and you consider skipping the soap to save time, think again. Plus, there is another superpower that soap has that helps keep us clean. As it turns out, surrounding germs to help them wash away with water isn't the only thing soap does for us. It also has the power to destroy the membranes or outer layer of things like germs, viruses, and bacteria to help keep us safe. How? These membranes are made up of similar particles to those in soap, having both hydrophobic and hydrophilic heads on each molecule. So when you rub your hands with soap, the hydrophobic tails of the soap molecules break through the membrane in an attempt to escape the water. The result? The membrane is cut open and destroyed. <laughs> and an even better result, once the membrane is penetrated, the germ is no longer able to infect your cells. And if it's a bacterial germ, well, they can't survive without a membrane, so soap basically kills bacteria. But it is important to know that this process doesn't happen in the snap of a finger. 
So to be sure that this process harms or kills as many viral or bacterial germs as possible, you really should be sudsing up for at least 20 seconds. Not sure if you've met that 20 to 30 second mark? Well, you can keep yourself accountable by singing yourself a little song, like Happy Birthday or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star two times before your final rinse and dry. Okay, so we know that soap is an important part of hand washing, but is it possible to wash your hands too much? Hmm. And that's a totally valid question because one downside of washing your hands frequently is that soap can make your hands feel a little dry, especially since it does wash away oils that are actually good for keeping your skin naturally moisturized. Luckily though, that is a quick fix with some hand lotion. Long story short, don't let dry skin be an excuse for dirty skin. The bottom line is that soap plays an essential role in keeping us clean and healthy, and it helps to stop the spread of harmful germs like viruses and bacterias. And some of those viruses and bacteria can lead to life-threatening illnesses and complications. So as I said at the beginning of this lesson, soap can literally save lives. And even if the germs aren't life-threatening, no one likes being sick. So washing your hands with soap and water keeps us safe and healthy. Pretty cool, right? And washing your hands is not the only part of the equation. It's also really important to dry your hands after you wash them. Why? Well, germs just love damp environments. So what happens when you wash your hands but don't dry them? Sure, you will still clean your hands, but you are more likely to attract more germs and attract them faster than clean, dry hands. And what's the deal with hand sanitizer? Well, without diving too deep into it, hand sanitizer is a good backup to soap. Why? Well, the alcohol that is in most hand sanitizers works to kill some of the bacterial and viral germs that can make people sick. Similar to soap, the alcohol works to break through and break down the germ's membrane. Unfortunately, hand sanitizer can't quite get rid of all the harmful germs out there, or even certain chemicals, grime, and grease. So while hand sanitizer is great to have on the go, it turns out that washing your hands with soap and water is the best way to keep harmful germs away. And don't just take my word for it, soap is totally doctor approved. In fact, it is highly recommended literally by any and every medical professional like ever. <laughs> so keep those hands clean, my friends. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, stay curious, my friends. Bye. <laughs>